friends, before we start today's episode, I have some news for you. We have added a new member in our cutesy bootsy family called Baby Binox, which is basically a smaller version of your beloved friend, that is, me. So, do not forget to watch the Baby Binox show to make it a hit. The link is in the description. Now, let's get started with your favorite show. <sighs> Gosh, that movie was so scary that it gave me goosebumps. Goosebumps? Yes, little kitty. Goosebumps. Hey, friends. We all get goosebumps for various reasons. But have you ever wondered why do we get them in the first place? So, in today's episode, let us explore this hair-raising topic and find the answer to an interesting question. Why do we get goosebumps? Zoom in! Goosebumps, also commonly known as goose flesh, are tiny bumps on your skin at the base of your hair that spring up involuntarily, caused by various factors like an unexpected cold breeze, watching a scary movie, playing adventure sports, etc. I know you are thinking, but why are they called what they are called? That is goose bumps. Well, their name is the most straightforward thing about them. When geese are freshly plucked, their skin creates raised bumps where the feathers were. And because of this visual similarity, we call them goose bumps. But why do we get it? Well, it is believed that years ago, when humans were all big, smelly and hairy, Goosebumps played a vital role in their daily lives. You see, our ancestors never had the luxury of clothes and generally wandered around half-naked, making them fall prey to ever-changing climatic conditions. And as the winter hit, making our ancestral uncle feel cold, the adrenal glands got activated and released a hormone called adrenaline also known as epinephrine. This hormone causes the tiny muscles called erector pili, which are attached to the hair follicles to tense up and shrink, making the hair stand upright and a little bit of skin around the hair protrudes like a flexing muscle, resulting in goosebumps. This straightened hair helped to trap more air, which stopped the body heat from releasing making our ancestral uncle feel better, cozier and warmer. Not only that, getting goosebumps is an automated response we call reflex, which is an action your body has automatically executed without you even thinking about it. This particular reflex is known as the pilomotor reflex and generally gets activated during the flight or fight situation. So, whenever our ancestors came across a deadly wild animal, adrenaline rushed in and made their hair stand to make them appear bigger to scare their enemies. We can still observe this phenomenon in our pet cat or a dog. You must have seen their hair standing on end when they sense danger or feel afraid. So, now you know, why do we get goosebumps? Congratulations, my friends, you learned something new today. Trivia time! Did you know, medical term for goosebumps are cutis and serina, erection and horripilation. Also, some people get goosebumps when they listen to music. Yes, a study found that people who are more open to different types of music and to new experiences were more likely to get goosebumps and chills from listening. So, put on your headphones and get ready for a bumpy ride. It's question time! 
Today's question is, what is the other name for adrenaline? Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.